Hi, this is Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do a reading for Virgo. This is for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and this is for the week of January 18th to the 24th. Keep in mind that the timing is still fluid, and not every tarot reading is for you. So let's just see what comes up. What do we have for Virgo for the week ahead, January 18th to the 24th? One card for an overall energy, please. Wheel of Fortune. So the wheel of fate is spinning. So the wheel is spinning. This is good luck. This is uh, luck is on your side. This is positive change is coming. So uh, destined change. So whatever is happening, it is meant to be. You could also be dealing with a Taurus. You could be dealing with a Leo. You could be dealing with a Scorpio or an Aquarius. You don't have to be. But uh, the wheel is definitely spinning for you this week. Um... The Wheel of Fortune, that is a very fortunate, positive change that is coming for you. All right. Being at the right place at the right time, perhaps. Whatever it is, it's good luck. Okay, luck is on your side. Positive change is coming. I got a bunch of cards that fell out, so we're going to take them. Four of Swords, reverse. Now, this is the end of something. You may have been taking a break. You may have been tired. You may have been overwhelmed. This is the end of it. Things are going to be changing for the better. Five of, this is a turning point. Five of Pentacles reversed. This is the end of some sort of uh, hard time. Okay, you may have been experiencing some hard times, but this is light at the end of the tunnel. Starting to see improvements. Um, securing something. If you have been feeling neglected or ghosted or abandoned, it's the end. It's over because this is the end of that situation that has left you tired and fed up and exhausted things are about to get better for you with that wheel of fortune this is definitely a turning point king of wands reversed three of cups reversed ten of wands reversed two of pentacles reversed and the three of pentacles so it looks as though you're going to be letting something go, dropping some weight or something like that with the Ten of Wands reversed. Ten of Wands is better in the reversed position because it's letting something go. It's on the path to balance and harmony. It's on the path to um, freedom. Okay, so you are on the path, to a, a path where you're letting something go that has been holding you down. Um dropping something you're dropping something uh maybe i don't know if it's a person or it's an energy uh you're going to be working with some new people perhaps this week you could be getting together you could be collaborating compromising uh working with people that actually respect you you know uh I feel like that, that there's parting ways with friends or family or other people that don't respect you. So it's interesting. It's like making new friends, meeting new people, uh, turning your back on somebody that uh, I feel like they abandoned you or they abused you or they tried to control you. You could be dealing with a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius as well. Um I feel like this is it's this party is over, okay? That there's no reunion, there's no celebration. I feel like you are just letting this person go. I think they've exhausted you. I feel like they um have held you down in some way. This somebody is is giving up. They're giving up with the uh Ten of Wands reversed and the Two of Pentacles reversed. I feel like there's been some sort of imbalance here and a lack of uh, ability to be flexible, you know. And now it's just time to let go. You're dealing with somebody that is inflexible. You're dealing with somebody that is probably angry. They're hard to deal with. They're very controlling. They lack respect. 
They may have involved you in a third party situation. I'm not sure uh, what kind of third party situation this is. It could be at work, could be at home, whatever. But I feel like it's, it's at the end with the Four of Swords because that's the death of a person or idea. So I think that this is over. I feel like this friendship is over. This partnership is over. This union is over. I think you're definitely going in a new direction. I feel like it's a very positive new direction. Um, I do see a turning point here where you're going to be working with new people or collaborating with new people or getting together with new people. Um, this weight is about to be lifted. Okay, it's like, I don't know if you've, maybe you've had too many responsibilities or you've been overwhelmed that you're going to start to, you're going to start to feel relief. Okay, you're going to start to feel relief this week. Um, if your health has been poor, you know, if you put on weight or whatever, maybe it's time to, you know, start focusing on that, focusing on your health. Um, I feel like you've, you've just been tired, right? You've been tired, you've been exhausted, you've been fed up, you've been, uh, making some poor decisions, but I feel like it's, I feel like it's time to refocus. And I feel like this week you are going to be refocusing. You're ready. You're ready for something positive. And I think that you're going with the flow. You know, you're not, you're not going to stay where you're at. It's like you're allowing destiny to move you in a new direction and you're going with it. You know, you are, um, three of pentacles. That's that's togetherness. It's communication. It's making compromises. So you're going to be making some compromises this week. And that is going to require you definitely to let go of something. I think you may have had a hard... I don't know if you've lost your willpower or you've lost your determination or you've lacked confidence or maybe you felt weak or something like that. You've, you've let some sort of... Um, you just haven't had the determination or the willpower or the confidence or so, something or discipline even to uh, control something. And I think that now, now you're ready. I feel like you're now you're, it's almost like it, I mean, I feel like you're going to take back control. You're going to refocus. I feel like this is a week of refocusing. Ace of Cups reversed. You know, I think that you're dealing with an individual that may have, I don't know, if this person has drained your energy or they've, uh, you know, made you sad. There's there's emotional dishonesty here. Or maybe you're dealing with somebody that didn't love you, you know, or you didn't love them or there was a lack of passion or somebody lied or something like that. I think It is probably going to be an emotional week. I think it's going to be an emotional week because you could be dealing with somebody that is angry with you. This person is angry with you. They're upset. They... Um, they may be inflexible. You know, they may be inflexible. They may be... Um, causing you some problems and I think that you're parting ways from this person and because you're parting ways with this person or they're parting ways with you it could go either way it could cause some frustration so yeah I do feel like you're going to be dealing with some frustrations this week because there is another person here that is not happy with the king of wands reverse this person may be angry you know they could be hurting with the ace of cups reverse or they could be in their emotions they may not be able to master their emotions you know so you may be dealing with that this week. Um, there could be a third party situation here that is coming to an end as well with the, uh, the card just fell out with this is a third party situation. The four of swords is an ending. So we could have a third party situation. This card just fell out that is coming to an end. Could be dealing with a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. You could also be dealing with you can be dealing with anybody. We have Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius here as well. Anyhow, um, the King of Cups is somebody that is very feeling, very loving, typically very loving, very uh, romantic. So I think that you will probably um, definitely be in your feelings this week. You may be... Uh, and what is this King of Cups? You're definitely going to be in your feelings, maybe communicating with somebody that because this is communication it's working together working with somebody that is very intuitive very very feeling this person is obviously thinking about something they're thinking about love they're thinking about uh their feelings hmm hermit they're thinking about you somebody is thinking about you 
They are. Somebody is really, it's a water sign. I think it's a water sign. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. But I feel like you're having a hard time because of another person. We have two people here. We have a fire sign and we have a water sign. That's what I see. And I think the fire sign is holding you back. I feel like you have another opportunity for love. And I feel like you, you probably know it. I think your intuition is probably telling you that. Somebody is, is thinking about you. I feel like you've been lonely or you've been feeling lonely or you've been uh, having a hard time mastering your emotions. And I feel like you need to master your emotions. You're definitely going to be in your emotions this week. I feel like you, you there could be somebody that is communicating with you. This person may have... Uh, ghosted you or abandoned you or something like that and uh maybe they've ended something with a third party and I know I'm changing the story but that's what it just came to me they may be angry and upset that you're moving in a new direction um I do see you moving in a new direction with that with that uh wheel of fortune card I think that um your life is changing and you're moving in a new direction and you're letting something go that was holding you down and I don't know if it's losing weight. It could just be weight. But you're dropping something. You're dropping something that you were, you know, playing with. You were, this is playing with it. This is a game. This is juggling with. You were going back and forth. This is dropping it. So you're dropping something. You're not going to play this game anymore. And I think it's going to be very emotional for you or another person or maybe even both of you. You know, there's, because when something gets dropped, it is emotional. So I do see some sort of, uh, feelings. Somebody may be definitely in their feelings this week and they may be expressing and communicating their feelings. They've obviously been thinking about it. Maybe they've been hiding their feelings and now they're going to really, really, really express their feelings. Um, the Hermit Reverse. That's coming out of hiding. Time to reconnect, perhaps. Somebody may be wanting to re reconnect with you. And you may need to go within. If somebody tries to connect with you, you may need to go within to think about, you know, whether you want to, uh, what you want to do. You know, whatever it is that you want to do. I feel like uh, it, somebody's going to be socializing with you. Maybe it's time for you to socialize. If you have been in hermit mode in, because of another person that has f caused you a lot of pain. This person ghosted you. They hurt you. They left you frustrated. They, it's almost like they left you for dead, right, with that four of swords. You know, they, they just had no care you know I think that you were dealing with somebody that totally uh abandoned you they neglected you they played with you you know they played a lot of games with you and now you may have another opportunity here um you definitely do have another opportunity here and I feel like you may be overwhelmed you may be overwhelmed with with some sort of offer that is coming in um Maybe it's maybe it's time for you to let go of that person, you know, that it didn't work out with because it feels like it's time to, to get get out, come out of your cave, right? It's kinda of time to come out of hiding. It's time to for you to reconnect. It's it's time for you to, you know, stop restricting yourself. Right? Maybe then Hermit Reverse is stop restricting yourself. Come out and play. You know, come out and play. Maybe it's time for you to socialize and, and date. You know, maybe you haven't been dating because of another person that, you know, uh, caused you a lot of frustrations. You know, maybe or maybe you were healing. You may have been healing. And, and now it's the, it's, you've healed, you know, and it's time to reconnect. You know, it's time to get out there and put yourself out there and work with other people, you know, and get together with other people and master your emotions and open up your heart again. So anyway, I do believe that you're going to be getting an opportunity with somebody that uh, you probably do not expect. Uh, whether you want to give them a chance or not, it's going to be up to you. If you are in a coupled relationship, I do see you, you know, a positive change is coming if there's been some sort of struggle, if there's been some sort of neglect or abandonment, you know, things could be getting better. They could be getting better because somebody is re is letting something go. They could be just be letting go of a burden, you know, letting go of a grudge. They're not, they don't want to play games anymore. They want to work together, you know, so that could be the case. I do see working together here with another person. 
after being abandoned by somebody that, you know, didn't, there wasn't love, there wasn't passion, you know, this is a new connection or a reconnection with somebody that, you know, has some sort of desire for love, you know, this is somebody that is very feeling, that has good intentions, that I feel like they're going to be expressing their feelings. Somebody's going to be expressing their feelings or their admiration or something like that. It's time to open your heart, perhaps, for some of you, you know, and and uh, put yourself out there. I do feel as though there is a solid opportunity that is coming in. We have the Knight of Pentacles on the bottom, so... And I think that, that you have a lot to offer. I feel like you have a lot to offer. I feel like you're stable, you're solid, you're secure. This is loyalty. And I feel like somebody sees your value and they're going to, and they're, and it's a good match. If you think about water and uh, earth, earth and water are a good match. So I do feel like it's a good match. I do feel like you're going to be matching up with somebody that is a good match. And, uh, this person, you may meet this person, you know, you may just run into each other or something like that. Um, or this person could be reaching out to you. They may be reaching out to you after they've been hiding behind the scenes. You know, they've been in their emotions. They haven't been able to master their emotions. They may have been, you know, fearful. Now they're going to express themselves. Anyhow, you're going to be receiving an offer from somebody that is probably pretty romantic they probably they may want to uh connect with you my advice is to um communicate communicate with this person and if you've been holding a grudge or you've been in hiding or you've been trying to protect yourself or you've been having too many responsibilities or you've been dealing with somebody that burned you let that go because you have an opportunity here good luck